More than 80 fraternities and sororities participated in a four-square tournament last weekend to benefit the St. Jude's Children's Hospital. Basically, yeah, we're here to have fun. While winning the 80s themed tournament was on everyone's minds, the real goal at hand was not lost among the competitors. It's all about, first and foremost, the love of the game, you know, and then any time that I can play the game for a cause, it makes it even better. You know? St. Jude's representative Nicole Aldape says Texas State and the national organization make a good team. I think it makes the students feel great that we've had patients from the area who benefited from the money being raised here saying my child is alive today because you're here playing you know four square you wrote letters on behalf of st jude because the students get together in the past several years the university has donated over twenty five thousand dollars to the medical organization based in memphis tennessee it's not about which sorority or which fraternity comes out on top it's about keeping the ball rolling for a good cause for bobcat update i'm colleen baker AAF is heading for Amarillo for district competition. The team will face off against 18 other universities. Texas State has won the district competition 12 times over the past 18 years. The way the competition works is you have 20 minutes to put on a presentation and basically sell your idea to the judges. So we have that 20 minutes allotted to us um, next Wednesday for us to, you know, show us show us our campaign and tell them like what it's all about. Texas State has won the district competition 12 times over the past 18 years. AAF co-advisor Marianne Stutz says many components are necessary to have a successful team. I think one of the strengths, one of the big strengths of our competition teams are that it's they're interdisciplinary, meaning the students are coming from marketing, they're coming from mass comm with advertising and public relations majors, and they're coming from uh, comdes. AAF co-advisor Alexander Muck says creativity plays a huge role. Every year we will come up with some what we call breakthrough or fresh ideas. You know, so this is very important in advertising because you want your ads to stand out to grab people's attention. If your ad is just copycatting, you know, some other people's work, you know, that is not going to work. If the team wins at the district level, it qualifies for the nationals, which will be held in Orlando, Florida this year. Several Texas state organizations are adapting to this week's bad weather. The heavy rainfall has created a number of problems for on-campus activities. Really, like, there's not that many people in there, and even though people are at class, it's just, there's not too many people, and if I wasn't with an organization, I probably wouldn't have came. Although the student organization fair was held inside the LBJ ballroom, graduate research assistant Dominique McGee says they still felt the weather had a negative impact. The turnout has been pretty good, um, especially compared to last semester. Last semester we had to have it outside on the patio in the student center, and it was raining that day. Some organizations were not so lucky. The study abroad fair, an event held only once each semester, had to be canceled altogether. The involvement of student radio station KTSW in the student organization fair was also affected due to the rain. Well, we've had a couple events that we've, we've had to cancel, uh, one of which is our twice a month lunchbox concert series and it was actually our first one of the semester so it was pretty sad to, to have to cancel that event. In the meantime, students are finding ways to stay dry by any means necessary. For Bobcat Update, I'm Colleen Baker. Spring semester is coming to a close, and for most students, that means final exams are rapidly approaching. Many students are getting ready for their exams by studying at coffee shops or organizing study groups at Alkeck Library. With exams only 12 days away, students are taking advantage of the library's reference desk and Slack, because neither will be available during finals weeks. To accommodate longer study hours, the library will be open 24 hours a day, starting Sunday, May 2nd through May 12th. The Texas town of Pasadena had a scare this week after a large orange cloud was seen above the community. The cloud was the result of an accidental toxic chemical release at a local chemical plant. Nitric oxide was released and quickly dissipated. Many Texas State students are searching now for housing they'll need next fall. Denham Pittman tells us more in this Bobcat update. 